So the first thing up here is the opening power chords. Uh, B flat, B, C, right off of the uh, fifth string, the A string, which you can see on the tab on the screen. And then moving in reverse, we've got C, B flat, and then a G power chord on the top sixth string. four time right here which is really cool uh, then it breaks out into the main riff which is going to be used quite a bit it's going to move through almost a standard blues progression in fact it really is a standard blues progression a one four five blues progression uh, off of G off of C and then off of D and again we are in five four time <laughs> And the picking I'm using for that is up, up, down. And I'm using my ring finger to roll across the fifth fret from the fourth string to the fifth. And that's up, up, down with the pick. And then, of course, you can do the rest of uh, the riff with down strokes. to the uh, G string, the third string, and we play the exact same riff from there. Like I said, it moves basically like a blues. And then it moves back to G, of course. up to uh, what would be the five chord in a standard blues progression and we're playing off of the G string again on the seventh fret but it's the same riff the same fingering the same everything okay and then we move back to the fifth fret off of the G string and uh, playing the lick off of C again <laughs> but in the reverse progression uh, let me do that again and then it's once again back to G. Uh, that riff really doesn't require too much explanation. You can see it pretty clearly on the tab. But I did want to point out the... Uh, Picking up, up, down, followed by down strokes. song when they break out into that main riff right there. Uh, Rhino dubs uh, a lead break right out right out the gate. And that sounds really sweet, okay? So I'm going to play that real slow with the tab on the screen and uh, here we go. And in addition to uh, the lead fill that he plays at the intro of the tune, he's also added these jabs throughout the progression where he's just going. And that's at the 10th fret on the first string and the 11th fret on the B string. And 
he sort of places them on the kicks on the uh, crash cymbal with uh, Bobby Caldwell on drums. So coming off of the last riff, they enter into 4-4 four, four time, okay? And they're pushing the tempo a little bit here, probably about 167 to 170. And they enter that section with a simple E power chord. <laughs> Simple E power chord at the second fret, followed by a full E bar chord at the seventh fret. And then they break into the main riff of this section. So a few tips on playing this one. Uh, the riff in the left hand, as you can see from the tab, is actually uh, pretty simple and really straight ahead. I'm playing it with my first finger and then my ring finger, moving it back and forth kind of like a blues riff. You want to do some muting in the right hand on the top E string. And uh, my suggestion on this part would be to play the open E string, uh, the muted E string, with all downstrokes. And then try to attack the chords or the double stops that move from 2 to 4 to 5 with upstrokes. I think that's a really good way to play that riff. And then the hammer on at the second fret, uh, you can do with a downstroke. And I think that's a really good way to play that again, and uh, I think it'll sound smooth and be very relaxed to play. Plus, it's a good practice habit, you know, to do that. And then you'll hear a second guitar come in. Rhino has dubbed another guitar in here. Uh, maybe even two. Uh, the mix is pretty uh, together. It's a really good mix, but uh, he's really kind of got the guitars really meshed together, right? Uh, but I've tabbed it as so as a single guitar, but it may be more than one guitar playing it. And then we hit into uh, the power chords, which function as a kind of turnaround for this section. And again, these are just your standard power chords. You can see that from the tab again. Uh, but I'll go ahead and play that slow. I'm playing it with alternate strokes, uh, but you can probably do it with all down strokes as well if you'd like. Uh, but I kind of like the way it sounds with the alternate strokes. significant things about this section is against those power chords. Rhino has also dubbed a second guitar in here that's playing a set of trills. They're kind of mixed slightly back. He's got a pretty thick sustain, uh, much more than what I'm using uh, right now at this moment. But he does a set of trills, as I say, starting on the seventh fret on the G string then the 8th fret on the B string, 10th fret on the E string, and 
and that's really cool and it sounds great against those power chords. Uh, you can catch that in the performance video that I did.